very big disease. We love to take photographs of ourselves and put them up in a way that people are not supposed to be looking at. What this means is, okay, if there's a photograph, for example, within the limits of the Sharia, Alhamdulillah. But you have women, you know, they want to show themselves in the greatest of beauty. Like I've just said, two things happen. One is the makeup, which covers you completely and makes you look, mashallah, so gorgeous. And you know that when you look in front of the mirror without that makeup, you're actually quite depressed. May Allah beautify our women and our men, mashallah. Mashallah. And secondly, on top of that, you've actually photoshopped the picture. So you look like a cartoon character, mashallah. Flawless, Allahu Akbar, flawless. And what happens? We put up these pictures, we have profile pictures, and guess what? When people say, you look gorgeous, we say, Jazakallah khair. <laughs> you look gorgeous, and we're saying, may Allah reward you for what you've just said. Come on, the man is saying it for a reason. Why did you have to show yourself? And if you have a close group, your family and so on, it depends. Obviously, we know the limits. We definitely do know the limits, but we forget them. We don't think about them. So think about it carefully because many marriages are breaking. You have a wife who's starting to be praised by anonymous men across the globe and even by the friends of the husband. And what happens? Next thing you find them in bed. And that's the complaint that we have today that this woman ran away with her husband's best friend. How many stories would you know? May Allah forgive us. We're not judging the people, but we're saying it is a crisis. It is a problem that causes disaster upon disaster. And where did it start? With a few photos on Facebook. And then we have the leg showing. And then we have the arm showing. We want to show the chest and we want to show everything else. And, and we, subhanallah, before it was only the food. Now it's the cook as well. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. You know, I recall a statement made by one of the youth when he saw food. You know, some of the youngsters, they just want to eat. When you get slightly older, you appreciate what it looks like. You see the little design on the food and you say, oh, you know, the person's a little bit more mature. But young age, you just whack it. Whatever's there, you eat it. You know, burger, burger. It must taste nice, alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. So a, slight, a person tells me, you know what? Ooh, this food looks gorgeous. I wonder what the person who cooked it must be looking like. So I told him, oh, there's the chef. And he was a fat guy with a long, big hat. And he says, how are you? <laughs> I said, there you are, mashallah. May Allah forgive us, really. This is the internet. This is what it does to you. Your imagination races well, be well beyond your capacity of running. This is something you need to know. Your imagination races well beyond your capacity of running. Your imagination, you cannot keep up with your own imagination. This is what happens. Why? Because it's beautified. Whoa, you see this. My, trust me, if you saw this brother in real life, you would not even want to look at him twice. Obviously, we're, we're, with all due respect, but I'm, I'm using the term brother because we don't want to use the word sister. But sometimes people pretend like, oh, gorgeous. Be honest. Hey, look, this is me. Normal, general me. And that's what it is. Subhanallah. Don't try and impress beyond who you really